All right, we are doing Borderlands 1 white gear only. I was watching a guy named Ganza stream this, and this is, I mean, it's not, you know, his idea in air quotes. Like, anybody can have this idea. I had this idea, too, after I watched him do it. So thanks for the idea, Ganza. This sounds pretty fun. Let's try it out. So yeah, we're doing white gear only, and it's definitely only white gear only, and there's no other gimmick besides that. It's just, it's just white gear, nothing else. Senza also did this. Who? Who is Sen? I'm not. I don't know who you're referring to. I never heard of that guy. All right, we're gonna be Mordecai. So I can do this voice sometimes, and it'll be hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's see. We are the proud owner of the rocket launcher, and I don't really care. And the sniper. Oh, that's annoying. The sniper's really good. Oh well. I miss Clappy's original voice. I miss that high-pitched whine. The new one's deeper. The new one sounds like a more mature Claptrap. It's like Claptrap went through puberty, but somehow became more annoying. I hate motion blur. Me too, man. We should make a foundation called the I hate motion blur foundation or the I am blur. We can go around to developers offices with picket signs saying no motion blur, no motion blur. And then they'll go watch you guys have a better slogan than just no motion blur. And we'll be like, we're not sure. We're not sure. Title for highlights is Mordecai cigarette run. Yeah. Marble Red, Newport 100s, Kingston Golds, Maverick Methyl. Pyramids. I smoke them all, baby. Did you blow up Megaton your first playthrough? Nah, that was before I had my chaotic evil streak in video games. See, when you first play a game, most people when they're playing the game for the first time are like the nice guy. And like, I think I read an article on Game Informer where like Bioware said like 95% of Mass Effect players were like good guy Shepard. I used to do that too. I'd be like, ah, I'll be the good guy. Yeah, I don't want to be a mean guy to the NPCs. But at some point I stopped caring. And I realized that when you're the bad guy in games, either... The game is not prepared for you to be the bad guy and it just falls apart and it's hilarious or they are prepared for you to be the bad guy and the bad guy dialogue is way better so i'm usually the bad guy on my first run of games these days because i find it's more interesting than being oh yes i'm the paragon i saved everyone nope boring chaotic evil all the way like who likes batman better than the joker you see what i'm saying we got our first shield baby the first in a long line of very bad and overall disappointing shields tk baja dies just so you know what the f don't spoil the game. Ban that guy. Ban him. Why are they here? Oh, why are they not here? More like, I thought that side quest spawned in already. Man, I need to play this game more. I take my Borderlands knowledge very seriously. You know, when I go outside, which is not very often, I wear a shirt with the vault symbol on it. It says, ask me a question about Borderlands, exclamation, exclamation. Nobody has taken me up on that offer yet, but someday I'll be in Walmart and some guys will be like, hey, what, do you like Borderlands? I'll be like, oh, I'm so glad you asked. And then I'll scare him away by talking too much. Shade style. It'll be great. What the heck is going on over here? Oh my god. Those dogs just ate that poor boy. It's a cruel world we live in. One full of harshness and violence. But if you look deeper on the inside, there is beauty to be found. Poopy. And we died to nine toes. Okay. Here we go. The real game begins now. Oh, his skags are named Pinky and Digit because those are both toe related names. I never realized that. I never realized his gags were thematically appropriate. You learn something new every time you play. Come on down to Dr. Zed's for a special price on chicken legs. That's right, we got three chicken legs for the price of one. I'll even throw in two skulls. That's right, three, count them, three chicken legs for the price of one and two skulls, only at Dr. Zed's. I don't have a med school degree. Do you see that? That blood texture just faded away. I have high graphics on, come on. I got a GTX 10 million and you're telling me you gotta do an object fade to keep the frame rate up? I don't think so. SMH lazy softies. Every time with these games is lazy softies, you know? Can't they do anything right? Can't they make one of the best game series ever? I remember when Mass Effect, <laughs> Mass Effect 3 first came out, they had like a developer interview and the guy's like, you know, I'm really proud of the ending we made. Sure, a lot of people didn't like it, but I'm really proud of what we accomplished here. I think it's pretty good. And then like a month later, like, okay, <laughs> we're changing it. Sorry, <laughs> we'll fix it, I swear. Oh my, what the heck was that? What? He has a big bean blast. Since when does he have that move? Since when does he have freaking Marcus's bean burrito blur? The SNS philosophy is you can't use our guns because they're too high quality. Oh, dang, Pendejo. I really wanted to use that SNS sniper rifle. It had a big <laughs> magazine size. Oh well, guess I gotta settle for a Mali Wan gun. <laughs> I'll always find that funny. I don't care if you don't think it's funny. I'm gonna keep doing it. Do you guys wanna see something all new? I just discovered this one second ago. Look at this. You start in Firestone, right? Come over to this thing. 
jump jump over the gate oh there's an, there's an invisible wall softies come on make a new remaster make the borderlands game of the year edition enhanced remastered edition of the enhanced remaster and in that edition remove that wall please i'll buy i'll buy it again if they release this game again for xbox 5 or whatever the freaking ps5 is gonna be called i'll probably buy it again i'm not gonna lie if it's like 20 bucks i'm like yeah i'll buy borderlands again why not i'm part of the problem but i can't stop buying borderlands like borderlands on switch i'm not gonna freaking play borderlands on switch but if borderlands 2 on switch was like 10 bucks i might buy it but yeah you know just in case just in case i like go on vacation or something you know it's worth it what the, somebody said bone shredder was a white gun and i was like oh wow bone shredder is white really and i believed him like a fool i was a fool i know it's a purple gun come on i know that it's it's purple in borderlands 2 as well what was i thinking why did I believe that guy? I allowed that guy to dash my hopes and dreams. And now I'm mad at myself. Not him. I should have seen it coming. What the? <laughs> <Did you? laughs> what was that? <laughs> that psycho just asserted his dominance. What the heck? I had nothing on that guy, dude. He wouldn't even let me kill him. He's like, nope, I'm going to die. What quests do we have to get here? Oh, shot, oh, shot crystal. Uh. Shot crystal is bait, dude. They give you shot crystal right now, even though you need like five more levels to do it properly. Like, yeah, go do shot crystal. You know, you, you can try it out. Come on, go do shot crystals. You know, you want to and you're like, okay, I'll try it. And then you can't do it. Ah, oh, crap. The softies got me. How hard is Oboe currently gaming? Oh, I go hard every time I game. They wouldn't let me on phase clan because I was too good. I'm joining Optic Gaming instead. Is Optic Gaming still around? I think they are. Optic rebranded? What? They rebranded. Why would you want to rebrand? Why, why would the number two Modern Warfare 2 clan want to rebrand? Being number two is not too bad. Like you, you look at um, you look at U.S. and China. U.S. and China are like we're number one. We're number one. They're always arguing over who's number one. Meanwhile, you got you got like a, yeah, like, like Norway. Like Norway's probably like number like twenty three maybe. Norway's doing fine. They're okay. <laughs> They're doing fine. Nothing wrong with being like a double digits. You are my essential worker. Okay, I'll keep coming into the stream for you. I want. I'd rather stay home. You know, I'd rather stay home and play Borderlands. But I guess I can stream for you. I should demand hazard pay. You're right because this hazard is talking to this toxic chat. Ooh, got him. Twitch chat's not too bad, but it is hazardous reading YouTube comments. For example, I will go on my channel right now and read the first five comments I see, sorted by new. Hunter Schultz says, do Destiny completely redo the game like Taken King? Great comment. Special K says, Borderlands 2 VR, but the AI is self-aware. Good meme, Special K. Special K also says, Funny how this is all random improv, but has the same level of quality and humor as Borderlands 3. On Private Jessup? Uh, yeah, that was totally improv and not planned. Yep, uh-huh. <laughs> Didn't plan that series out meticulously in a notebook with, like, a pencil. Nearest says, holy F, that first spawn got me crying. Wow, I'm so sorry I made you cry. And Harlan Height says, the first few seconds activate my Siri every time. Implying that he's watched this video, which is a random Borderlands video, several times. So I guess thanks for the revenue, but kind of weird you watch it more than once. Hey, hey, stay back. What's my grenade? Oh, it's regular grenade, right? I think. Do I have a mod equipped? Oh, oh no. Oh God. Restart the run, restart the run, run invalidated. No, I'm not gonna restart the whole run. Come on, haha, -ha, run invalidated, yeah. Every single time I do a run, it's like, oh, run invalidated, very funny joke, but not this time. This time, instead of just saying run invalidated, haha. -ha, I have a wheel of punishment. That's right. It's a gimmick. Farm Underdome 50 times. I should have waited for the highlights. No, stay stay in the chat. Everyone stay in the chat. If we drop one viewer, I'm never streaming again. Why did I put times 50? I have Farm Underdome times 10 and times 50. It's because I wanted the wheel to be eight because seven wasn't aesthetically pleasing. I wanted there to be eight options, but I couldn't think of an eighth one. So I said, I'll put Farb Underdome times 50. I have times 10, but the times 50 be funny too, right? Ha ha, yeah, really funny. All right, look, I'm not saying that France is the worst country, but what I am saying is that Assassin's Creed Unity did take place there. So, I mean, come on. Come on, guys, really? Unity, that's the one you're going with? You know, the punishment is twofold here because it's like, yeah, ha ha, it's really boring to do. But also, I can't make highlights out of this crap. This can't be in the highlights. What, what am I going to do? How am I gonna hit 10 minutes for that ad revenue with this as my content? I can't. This video is gonna be nine minutes and 59 seconds long, unless I say one word for five seconds. Here we go. Uh, corrosion. Why is that guy in a barrel? Hang on. What? How? Dude, <laughs> I've been down here farming this thing for probably like five to six hours. 
cumulatively of my entire life, I never noticed that guy who's right there. It's not even like, oh, what the heck? Uh, hello? Steam controller? Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Hang on. <laughs> Let me go find some batteries. We're never gonna- we're never gonna get out of the Underdome. All right, here we go. Run number 50. We did it. It took like 20 minutes, but we're finally here. But, uh, wait a minute, guys. I know you all want to see the reveal of run number 50, but how about another classic Randy magic trick? See this crosshair? I'm gonna make it disappear. Isn't that so cool? The crosshair is gone. And watch this. If you go to this wall, the crosshair stays there. But when you come here, it vanishes. Isn't that just so cool, guys? What's that? Nobody cares? You're booing me? <laughs> the game is actually booing me. You're booing me? You want to see me check the machine? Okay, okay. But just, uh, let it be known. You can't escape Randy's magic tricks. They will always be there. Uh, let's do circle of slaughter round two. Why not? How hard can it be? It's only like a few levels above me. Oh no, is that a- Oh, oh no, level 15. Oh, wait a second here. Hang on. No, 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 I can't dodge this. Get back here. Get back here, Alpha Skag. There you go. But open your mouth. Take a look inside those jaws. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. The only way I'm going to beat this is with the help of my pal, Bloodwing. Want Bloodwing back, huh? Shame. I've been doing some real interesting skill point experiments with her. Hate to see her go. But the heck with it. She's all yours. Hey, Bandit, guess what? Spending a skill point? That's a sin. Pre-sequel giveaway. Oh, my God. Okay, well, here's how this works. I bought five pre-sequel keys, and I'm going to give one away. Not to you, YouTube. Sorry. Come to the stream next time. Haha. -ha. But some lucky guy in chat will soon be the owner of the pre-sequel on Steam. Uh, Tuts Trupiato. Good job, Tuts Trupiato. Now you get the curse of the pre-sequel on your computer. Nice. <laughs> you guys really thought I gave that away out of the goodness of my heart? No. If I've played Skyrim enough, and believe me, I have, I know that when you give money away, you get the gift of generosity. And that, my friend, is a big buff. Here we go. Oh crap, I forgot to buy ammo. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Alright, I give up. I'm not doing this quest. <laughs>